In this session, we're going to talk about query surge connection extensibility. Connection extensibility refers to the feature in query surge whereby we're going to be able to connect to technologies that are not explicitly in our connection wizard. And in order to use the extensibility feature, all you have to do is open up the connection wizard and go back down in the drop down to this last uh, connection extensibility item and uh, then press next. Now in order to use connection extensibility you need a couple of pieces of information. We're going to illustrate this with the newer uh, Cloudera Hive drivers, the Hive Simba drivers uh, and uh, so we have to go to their documentation to get out the kind of the driver name, uh, excuse me, the driver class for the driver that we're going to use. For any uh, kind of uh, driver that you're going to do this with, you would have to do the same thing, consult the documentation. For the URL, we also have to get that uh, the URL template out of the documentation. And I'm just going to put in the IP address for our instance. the authentication um, and we can also put in a test query and we're almost ready to go. The thing that we don't have in place is we don't have the new drivers in place and of course those have to be put in position manually, they have to be deployed manually. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, just pop over to our uh, query surge VM and I'm going to deploy the drivers. Now this is a Linux VM and there are lots of different ways that you uh, might uh, be in a position to access uh, Linux and that'll probably depend on your environment but I'm going to use WinSCP uh, in order to uh, connect and transfer the files over. So I've got all of the files uh, here on the left side that I'm going to need and those again come out of the distribution from the vendor. And on the right what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, our uh, usual location uh, for deploying drivers and I've got a bunch of drivers there already. I'm going to move them over and now I've got all the drivers I need. Now a couple of critical points. One is I need to stop and start the agent before it will be able to see these new additions to the JDBC folder. Uh, we're logged in as admin but not root so we need to use our sudo uh, keyword. So let's go and see okay so the agent was running and now it stopped now we're going to start the agent by changing stop in the command to start And now the agent should be able to see all of our uh, new driver files. The second important thing that I need to mention here is that uh, you need to do this for every agent that you have deployed uh, where you want to uh, run these drivers or use these drivers. Okay, let's go back to our browser now. And uh, since we've got the drivers in place and we've got uh, our driver class and our connection and our uh, credentials. Let's see what happens uh, when we test the connection. And we're getting an error. This is actually good news because we can see that the agent has in fact picked up the driver so it's talking to the driver properly 
and uh, we probably got some information wrong in our connection. Let's just go back and I noticed as I look at this that I've mistyped the uh, IP address for connecting to uh, uh, our Cloudera instance. So let's go fix that and try it again and hopefully we'll get the desired result this time. Indeed we have and now we can save our connection and be on our way. And that's all the steps that are required for creating uh, a, uh, uh, a connection uh, via the extensibility mechanism. It really comes out of uh, being aware of the uh, driver documentation that you're using and uh, paying attention to the proper details.